Hello, I'm Sharik, and this is my app. Bug Tracker is a management tool made for internal use within an organization. You can create multiple projects with their own individual tickets and prioritization. With a tool like this, a team of developers can efficiently plan and resolve issues that arise during their development lifecycle. The app is still in development, so features are subject to change. But the front end is hosted on Vercel, which was constructed with Next.js, React, TypeScript, Oracle, and Chakra UI. The back end is hosted on a VPS, which is just a digital ocean droplet, which is constructed with Node.js, GraphQL supplemented by Type, GraphQL, TypeScript. The ORM I used was initially MicroORM, but then I switched to TypeORM, and the Redis server was for user sessions. Right, now that we're on the login page, we don't have an account, so we can begin by creating one. Let's sign up. Let me put in my name and information. Ah, an intended error. <laughs> the validation is just pointing out that the email is already in use, which it is. I have an admin account with that email, so let's just create another another user. Let's call him Guido Bash. Yeah, let's make a Gmail. All right, now that we're on the dashboard, we can see that it's empty. So let's log in as a demo user for a more convenient explanation for all that's going on here. And let's just log in as the demo admin. Okay. Now on the dashboard page, we can see our main projects table, which we can see some simple information about our current project, which is your hour, its description, a little details button. That's we'll get into that later, and a create new project button, which allows us to create a random project. Underneath the table, we see three charts. These are just simple visualization of the tickets that are assigned to the current user. It's organized by type, priority, and status. And these tickets allow us for a more abstracted view of what's going on. It can be pretty overwhelming to see all the tickets you have. So I included these tickets for the user, which in this case happens to be the demo admin, could just view a higher view the tickets from a higher perspective and delegate what they might want to do with that. Okay, we can look at the sign menu, which simply shows the app's logo, the app name, and the current user's role. And underneath it are going to be three clickable buttons. This one sends you to the dashboard page. Next one sends you to the My Tickets page. The one after that is the administration page. Not all users will see this, only admin users. And I'll get into these two towards the ends of the app. And the last is self-explanatory, which is just a logout button. All right, now let's head into zero hour, its details, and I can start explaining everything that's going on. And we can start by looking at the top, which is simply our title, description, and we're greeted with three buttons, which we can archive the project, edit the project, or delete it if we wish. In this case, I don't want to delete it. <laughs> I accidentally did. So let's just recreate it. We can start by looking at the team table, which shows the current users assigned to the app. Whenever an app is created, the admins are automatically assigned to it. Now, aside from the admins, I can add any any members that are currently log, logged in with the application. In this case, it's the, it's the demo users, so let me just add them. And I named the demo users the root. I gave the demo users the name of the role, which might be pretty confusing. I'll change that in the future, but once you as a user log in, the confusion will be mitigated. All right, in the tickets table, which is currently empty, we can view our tickets or archive tickets, and we can create a new ticket, which is right here. So let me just create one. We can, the title should be 
create a wireframe. And for this, let's assign myself and the developer for the app. This is going to be a feature. It's immediate, so it's just the only one present. And you know, let's get myself in. And it's it's going to be involved. We can go into the details, and we can see a more depth description of everything that's going on. We can get the title, author, description, its status, priority, and type and the assigned developers on it. And now, given that I am assigned on it, you go to my dashboard. Oh, I can see I'm assigned a single ticket. I can go to my tickets. On this page, I can see that, hmm, I am assigned one ticket, the app wireframe, I can view it. I'm brought to the project page. I can hit the details and I'm just like, cool. Cool. I'll start working on it right now. And I could add that comment. Now, since I I assigned myself to do it, I can log out of the admin account, log into my account. Refresh. And in this case, it doesn't seem like I needed to. I can go to my tickets and be like, wow, I'm assigned a ticket. Is it zero hour? All right, let me enter. I can see the details of this ticket and I'll be like, oh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you, demo admin. <laughs> I appreciate not having <laughs> to do any work. <laughs> so you can just comment that. And let's say I, I sneeze, slam my keyboard. I could also just delete my comment just to risk any flaws in communication. If I want to, I could also create another random ticket. It'll show up in my tickets and on the dashboard since I assigned it to myself. But if it was by mistake, I could edit certain aspects of it. And let's say this is actually a completed ticket. I could just go here, I could archive it, and I could view the archive tickets, which are just the completed ones. And now, if I simply don't want this anymore, I just hit edit, delete it, and it's gone. And that's the main workflow of using this app. Once you get into the rhythm, it's, it's pretty swift, and I made it so it's very convenient in the user end. And let's say, you know what? Random project. This is by a mistake. So we can delete the project. Then it's gone. The last page I wanted to show you was just the administration page. The if you're a demo admin, it'll only show the demo user. But since I am an admin for it, I could I see normal users. And I could end up switching the roles or even removing them. So our friend, unfortunately, he had a good run and we could remove him. <laughs> yep. And that's everything. The app is still in development and it's subject to many changes. I do plan on adding many features and changing certain things about the app. If you found any bugs or any issues, you can submit a ticket on the repo, which should be in the description of this video. Thank you.